Hiya, what I'm going to try and show you today is how you make up different violety purples from blue and different pinks and reds. I'm starting out with French Ultramarine and I've managed, I put some water in to let you see what it's like when it's diluted but I'm going to take this nice thick mixture and take a clean brush and take my permanent rose which is quite a pinky colour. I'm going to try and balance it out. Don't want it too pink. You see, you're starting to get quite a pinky colour there and the more blue I add into the mixture, I get quite a nice violet. And when I water it down, you can see the difference between going from that bluey colour to the slightly violety colour. Mix them together. And I've got quite a nice violet. So we'll try it again with the alizarin crimson. So I've still got some blue. Put that down. I'll clean my brush. Alizarin crimson isn't, it's darker. So we'll see what happens. You get a very, very much darker mixture and I'll add some water to it. And you can see you're still getting the purple colour. Well, maybe you can't see, <laughs> but you can try it out for yourself. That's because there's slightly more of the three colours, the red, yellow and blue, in the alizarin crimson mix than the rose is just a pink. It's, it's red slightly veering towards the blue colour blue side of the spectrum and we'll take the cadmium red I think I'm going to have to put more of that out and we'll see I've still got some blue and we'll mix that in and you're trying to get a balance between the red and the blue so you don't want it to go too red but you can see Almost immediately it's going a mucky brown colour and that I'm going to struggle to get a nice purple. Even although the more blue I'm putting in, no, it's still, but it's not, it's a really, really nice grey. So you're going from the more blue you have in it, the greyer it goes because that's got a, it's got more yellow in it than that one has. So that's the ultramarine and it's just really repeating the same thing with the cobalt. And we'll see what happens. Now each of these have got less and less red in them. So we're veering towards the green with the cerulean. So what? Yeah. now have I got a nice, I've not got a clean brush, got a clean brush. I'll take the permanent rose again, mix that in. You see you're really getting quite a nice with the permanent rose. We'll try it with the alizarin crimson. So I'll take the cobalt again and alizarin crimson. Let's see. That's maybe too blue. Balance it out. I'll add a little bit more water so you can see what it's like when it's diluted slightly. So that's sort of in between. 
clean the brushes again and we'll get the cadmium red and the cobalt Try and we see immediately <laughs> we're getting quite a nice brown there but I'm not, that's a lot of blue in it a bit more red a bit more blue but it's never going to be purple now it would be interesting to see what you can see with this uh, demonstration it might be nothing but i'd like it'd be nice if you could give me some feedback on it all right clean brushes again cerulean blue permanent rose oh this is one of my favorite color mixes very subtle for skies and put a wee bit more blue into it so that it's not quite so so you see purples you see blues mixing it on the paper is quite interesting because you don't have to mix it all as a into a you know one like porridge as i say uh, do the same thing again we'll take the cerulean you might notice this one at the bottom this is cerulean as well but it's a different make so it's much more transparent but when it's re it's it's also staining so i tend to keep away from it unless i you know i'm just using it very very pale rosarin crimson just a little bit because it's very powerful compared to the cerulean and we'll bring it in slowly i'm getting a mm, purple red Let's see what you think and I'll get a bit of water in just to dilute it. You can see how grey it's going there. I'll do the same with this one. And let it run in. And the last one. Cerulean again. This is the Cotman's I'm using. Mostly. I think there might be an odd um, artist colour in with it. But Cotton's is nice. Cadmium red. Mm. You see the orange just doesn't allow a good purple to be made. Even with more blue, there's no way I'm going to be able to get. Because that's going towards the yellowy green side. So that's, you can see it's probably... <laughs> no way I can be able to make it with that. I'll put some more water in so that you can see the mixture. And it's it's useful but not purple. A bit more blue. I mean so there we go. See what you think. And uh, I'll try it to give me ideas for different colour mixes you'd like to see. Bye just now.